Hi, welcome back. I'm Mr. Peck here. So today we are going to learn more about forces. Here's the second question. A boy starting from rest slides down an inclined plane and reaches the bottom of the plane with velocity of 40 km per hour. If the elevation of the plane is 40 degree and the coefficient of friction is 0 0.1, what is the length of the plane? Okay. So here it has an inclined plane. Okay, I have drawn out the, the situation. We must always, for chapter 4 forces, we must always start off with a free body diagram. Alright, I want to uh, emphasize this. When we do uh, questions about in forces, we must draw a free body diagram and show all the forces acting on the object. Okay, and the object we denote as only one point mass. Only one point. And all the forces must originate from that one point only. Yeah, uh, all the forces originate from one point. Yeah, like you see, uh, this object, it is on an inclined plane. So of course, the forces acting on the object is the normal force because in contact with the surface, the normal force is perpendicular to the surface. The boy is sliding down the plane, sliding down. So the motion is going down. So the friction is opposite the motion. Uh, friction is opposite the motion. So friction is going up. Sliding down, object sliding down, friction going up. Opposite the motion. Okay, Friction going up. And then it has the weight uh, directly downward. Directly downward because of gravity. Okay, Mg. So draw the free boy diagram first. Yeah. Uh, so information given here, he says the plane has coefficient of friction. Uh, coefficient. This is coefficient. Huh? Okay. Uh, let us uh, write it down. This is coefficient. So this is the mu. Mu k. Not the friction, but the coefficient. Yeah. Coefficient has no unit. So 0 0.1. And then he says he starts from rest. He starts from rest. So this is the initial velocity. 0. Okay. Slides down the plane, reaches the bottom with velocity. So this velocity is the final. Uh, this is the final velocity v, uh, but in kilometer per hour. So we have to change when we see uh, none SI unit. We must change to SI unit. Uh, I already changed here the mu, okay, and the final velocity, uh, forty kilometer per hour. I change to meter per second. How to change? Kilo is exponent three. One hour is three thousand six hundred second. So divide. I got eleven point eleven uh, meter per second. So below, final velocity already in SI unit. Must change to SI unit. So uh, the plane is not smooth. It has friction. It's not smooth. So it has friction. Yeah, friction. What is the length of the plane? So it asks for the length. So the length, as if we look closely, uh, the length of the plane actually is the displacement of the boy. The displacement itself is the displacement, if you get the displacement, means we get the length of the plane, isn't it? Uh, so we need to find the displacement of the boy. So information we already have is, we have the initial velocity starting from rest, initial velocity 0, final velocity at the bottom, V, and uh, we want to find the displacement. Uh, but uh, we don't have the acceleration. Uh, so in order to find the displacement, we need to find the acceleration first. Okay? Uh, it's like V U A S, voas. Later we use the formula voas. Uh, but to find the displacement, which is the length of the plane, we need to find the acceleration. Once we got the acceleration, we can we can get the displacement. Uh, so since this object has acceleration, so this one is about the Newton's second law. We need to use Newton's second law. Total, it has resultant force downward. The plane, uh, total F equal to MA. Okay, we need to find acceleration using Newton's second law. Okay, so first of all, uh, before we move on, resolve all the forces into X component, Y component. So here, the normal force already in y component, friction in x component, mg not yet in x and y component, we need to resolve. So first we resolve, 
resolve the mg so it has the x component and y component so x component mg is uh x component because it is opposite the angle so it's mg sine 40 uh, for the y component it is adjacent to angle so it's mg cos 40 okay uh, because uh, uh, this one use cos because adjacent to angle right the x component is sine because opposite to angle okay uh, when this is 40 degree this one also 40 degree yeah now uh, another thing is another thing is about the sign for direction uh, this is important yeah i want to explain sign for direction when object in equilibrium equilibrium means no resultant force total f equal to zero acceleration zero uh, we consider the direction like this going to the right positive to the left negative going up positive going down negative as usual this is usual but if the object ha has resultant force as resultant force which means that it is not equilibrium uh, it uses the newton's second law total f equal to ma uh, when not equilibrium has acceleration when the object has acceleration so uh, the sign is when follow acceleration use positive when opposite acceleration use negative uh, it looks at the acceleration follow acceleration positive opposite acceleration negative okay good now we must put the sign uh, here signed um if we look at the we must do both component x and y component if we look closely only the x component has acceleration uh, yeah the x component has acceleration but the y component the y component total f is zero uh, no acceleration yeah because the object didn't jump up and down along the plane it just uh, accelerate down the plane isn't it so the acceleration only in acceleration only in x component yeah only the x component has resultant force the y component has no acceleration no resultant force this is equilibrium this is not equilibrium uh, now you need to put the sign uh, for y component no acceleration so we just put uh, going up is uh, positive going down is negative uh, this one like this one okay uh, but for s component s component it has acceleration so follow acceleration is positive uh, so going down is positive because follow acceleration positive yeah the, I, this one total f equal to ma follow acceleration positive so follow acceleration positive opposite acceleration negative uh, yeah opposite acceleration negative this one opposite acceleration negative all right okay settle that one now we move on uh first of all we find the uh okay for x component okay for x component we have what what value we have uh the mg sine 40 and the friction okay these two forces only uh so the mg sine 40 is positive uh, the friction is negative okay uh, mg sine 40 is positive because follow acceleration friction is negative because opposite acceleration so let us write down mg sine 40 positive because follow acceleration friction negative because opposite acceleration negative friction uh, equal to ma you see that uh okay so we got it we nail it now uh what's the formula for friction friction is okay let us write uh mg sine 40 minus mu k n friction is mu n uh friction is mu n oh here we we need to find the normal force we need to find the normal force so normal force you need to do also the y component to get the to get the normal force uh, so we want to find the normal force we need to do the y component so let's do the y component 
Y component has no acceleration. So going up positive, going down negative. So no, uh, for Y component, only you have normal force and Mg cos 40. Normal force is positive, Mg cos 40 is negative. Okay? Uh, so normal force is positive. Normal force is positive. Mg cos 40 is negative. Uh, negative Mg cos 40. Uh, so N is equal to Mg cos 40. Alright? Uh, do we have the mass? No, the question didn't give the mass. So we don't have the mass. We leave it like that. We leave it like that. Okay? Uh, because later the mass can be cancelled out. Yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, what well, we already got the normal force, so we can substitute the normal force to the x component. Okay. Uh, we can substitute there. So just substitute, and we got it. Uh, so mg sine forty minus mu mu k already have zero point one. Uh, so put zero point one. And then the normal force is, uh, the normal force is mg cos 40. Uh, and then put the ma. Ah, do you see that? We can cancel the mass. Even the, even the question didn't give the mass. Never mind, we can cancel the mass. So we no longer need the mass. We no longer need the value of mass. Uh, okay. So from here, we can get the acceleration. We can calculate the acceleration already. So our acceleration will be equal to so g itself is uh, g itself we just substitute with nine point eight one yeah positive uh, g itself we just substitute with nine point eight one and our acceleration we get our acceleration get uh, after calculate we got five point five five four meter per second square uh, that's the value of acceleration we got the acceleration. We can get the displacement already. Uh, so we can get the displacement because we already have all the value. Okay? We already have the we already have the um, initial velocity it start from zero. Final velocity uh, 40 km per hour already changed to meter per second 11.11. Okay, meter per second. And then we already have the acceleration we got just now 5.554. Uh, meter per second square. So we want to find the displacement. So we use a formula VOAS from kinematic of linear motion, chapter 2. So which is V square equal to U square plus 2AS. So 11.11 uh, .11 .11 square. And then this one is 0. Okay, 0. And then 2A. A is 5.5 s uh, we can get the s so we calculate we got 11.11 .11 meter that's our displacement okay uh, so it's very simple okay that's the displacement will be it will be the length of the plane yeah length of plane all right so that's very simple hope you enjoyed the video uh, let us uh, um, wait for the coming videos. Bye!